Welcome to Math We Know. Solve the value of a such that a to the power of 4 is equal to 4a the plus 1. How should we solve it? For the this question, you have to pay more attention. First, this a to the power of 4 is very nice. It can be regarded as a squared and then all squared. For solving this question, you have to only remember this formula. That is, x squared and then plus 2 times xy and then plus y squared is equal to x plus y all squared. This a to the power 4 can be regarded as a squared and then all squared. So now, x is a squared. What about y? y. I can find a very nice number, that is 1. So now, a squared and then all squared. And then plus this y squared, this y. I found a very nice number instead of y, that is 1. So 1 squared is 1. And then plus 2 times, that is a squared. And then plus 1. So it is a squared plus 1 and then all squared. This result, we should use it later. Now I'm going to do some changes. A to the power 4, it can be regarded as a squared and then all squared. And then I'm going to add a 2a squared and, and 1. Because I've added them and then I should subtract them. Now, because there are something on the right hand side, so now I'm going to subtract them on the both side. So that is the minus 4a and then minus 1. 0. Oh, the left hand side is very long, but the right hand side is just a 0. Because a squared and then all squared, then plus 2 a squared, then plus 1, that is this. Write it. a squared and then plus 1, all squared, minus. Mm -hmm. 2a squared minus 4a. Here, minus 1 minus 1, it is minus 2. Very good. Now, here, in this part, I'm going to take out a negative 2, and that is negative 2, then times a squared, and then here becomes plus 2a plus 1. What's in the bracket? a plus 1 or squared. So it is a squared and then plus 1 all squared minus 2 times a plus 1 all squared is equal to 0. Now I'm going to add 2 times a plus 1 all squared on the both sides, and it will become this. Pay attention. Here appears a squared here also. What can I get? I can get that a squared then plus 1, it is equal to positive or negative square root 2 and then times a plus 1. Very good. Now, discuss the cases. How many cases are there? Because a positive sign and a negative sign. So there are only two cases. Okay. Only two cases. They're very easy to discuss, but they're very difficult to solve. The first case. a squared then plus 1, it is equal to positive square root of 2 and then times a plus 1. Of course, this equation is not difficult. You can solve it by yourself. I'm going to give a tip. 
solve the quadratic equations in general. If you have the quadratic equation a times x to the power of 2 and then plus bx and then plus c. Of course, this equation is about x and a, b, and c. There are numbers. That x is equal to minus b plus or minus. So in general, there are two solutions, but the real solutions depend on the delta. It is b squared then minus for a c. The delta is b squared then minus for a c, and then all divided by 2. This is a formula which you should remember. You have to remember, and you must remember. If you check the delta, the b squared the minus for a c, and then you can find that the delta is greater than zero. It means there are two real roots from this case. You can solve it by yourself, and I'm not going to show the answers. For the second case, it's similar. But in this case, if you check the delta, you can find that the delta is b squared is square root of 2 and then all squared. It is 2. The minus 4 times a is 1. c is 1 plus square root of 2. That is minus 2 and then minus 4 times the square root of 2. It is smaller than 0. So there aren't any real roots. But there are other complex roots. You can solve them if you want. But this equation has only two real roots. You can solve it by yourself. For the first case, the delta is greater than zero. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.